Welcome to Dragon Law Gaming, where gaming and law intersect. I am your host, Dragon. Right now, I am currently streaming this live on Twitch, Beginner's Guide to uh, Dragon Champions. Dragon Champions is a mobile title. It's a hero collector's game. It's a lot of fun. I am enjoying it. Uh, for a lot of people, I normally stream on Twitch uh, doing... Uh, Call of Duty, those types of games. It's a lot of fun, but in my spare time and in my uh, in my normal time, I play Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Um, it's a game that I've been playing for three years. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun, but there's been a lot of controversy in it. And I've never covered the game. I've never tried to cover Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Uh, there are a lot of really great content creators for the game. Um, for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Their same creators are actually, uh, you know, I'll, I'll name them because I love them, Mick Mall 2, Arnold T101, a mobile gamer. Those guys do great content on, uh, you know, on Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Now, Mick Mall 2 recently switched over to this game. Um, when he did that, I switched over to the game as well to start playing it. Uh, I've been playing it for about a week, um, week and a half, something like that. I, I think I picked it up and started playing it last week, and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Now, Star Wars Galaxy Heroes drug me to it because it was it was Star Wars. Um, but I love these types of games, this hero collecting game and that sort of stuff. So, but this is all about, this guide is essentially everything that you need to know. The Mick Mull makes some great videos, very in-depth. Uh, this is not to supplement. This is more like, hey, here are the things you need to know so you can be successful in this game early on. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and begin. So here, you know, it's just your normal hero collection game. You'll see here that I actually have a ton of summon characters that I haven't actually opened yet. There's a reason why I haven't opened them. And this is the first thing I really want to talk about. When you first start opening characters, your first opening characters, um, you Darian here, uh, uh, Alara, uh, Feo, you'll start opening these characters right when you start playing. Right, Freezards, they're going to offer Freezard to you as a bundle in this thing for money. This game is free to play friendly. It really is free to play friendly. It does very, very well. However, if you want to spend money, this is the game to spend money in because your money goes a long way. So look at these. If you have money to spend, it's really worth doing because some of these characters like Freezard is really, really good. Um, as you can see, I've spent money in this game. I'm not going to lie to anyone. I've spent probably $250 so far on this game. It, it, it's $250 well spent for me uh, to play the game and enjoy it. And I haven't even unlocked everything yet. Um, so you have your normal shop. You have a campaign mode here. You have this is kind of like a dark side, light side sort of thing, right? And uh, if you play Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, you've heard about that, Dark Side, Light Side. But this is the dawn of the Order. This is where uh, the, the Order is. This is where the clans are. Um, and they have different factions. Uh, I'm not, I don't think it's important necessarily to go through them, but we can look at them real quick. So you have the Order, which are all, you know, the, the constitute is humans. There's humans and elves um, and that sort of stuff. It, it, it looks like even demon. It looks like even there's some demons in part as a part of the order, right? And then you have the clans side, right, which are made up of goblins, pride. Um, this one right here, she's a pride character. She's a clans character. Orcs, uh, goblins, demons, and some other uh, various people. Although that's kind of interesting, uh, but. You have your shop, you have things to buy in. So here's the number one thing, right? We'll go right over here real quick, go to bank. And this is the big one. This monthly rewards thing here is very, very beneficial. As you can see, I have purchased it. You get 6,800 of credits. Credits are the things that you need, the currency that you need in the game. Um, you know, to be able to purchase refreshes of your energy, that sort of stuff. Um, refreshes on your characters when you're trying to farm your characters and that sort of thing, right? This is actually basically, it's like five, I think it was uh, $5.99, $6 essentially, and you get 6,800 credits. Well, if you come down here, you'll see that 6,800 credits is essentially $55 worth of uh, these 
uh, dragon coins. I think they're called drag coins in this game. So we should use the right terminology, drag coins, All right? Every month. Now they come in $200, you get 200 daily rewards, right? You got 800 at purchase and then, right? But you get 6,800 right now. And so it's, 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 they, they, they've upped it. And so it's super, super great right now because you're getting a total of those. So this is really awesome. It's a monthly reward thing. It's a, there's a bonus that they're given. So that's pretty cool. Um, the other thing, and you can't, you can't see it anymore, but when you first purchase, and this is very, very, very important, when you first purchase the game, uh, this, this card of dragons here, you get double of these. So if you're going to spend any money on the game, the way to do it is to buy this $100 pack because you get $200 worth of items. Um, and so that's kind of that. Um, so if you're going to spend money, that's the way to do it. Additionally, and this is the other thing I wanted to show that I think is super important, is if you unlock these characters, like for example, Xantra here, uh, Xantara, my apologies. If you unlock her, right, she, she will pull up and immediately when you go, go away from this page, it'll say, do you want to? So watch, I'll, I'll pull her up here and you can see. Right, I'm gonna unlock her. Right, I unlock her at three stars. I have four stars worth. Right, so now she's four stars. As soon as I leave this page here and go back to the home screen, it's gonna pop up a thing. Here, do you want to level her up to the next thing? It's five dollars and fifty cents. Right, plus your tax. Right. This will up the star count. They give you 300 energy, 350 gold, which is enough to level her all the way up to thir gear 34 and gear level five, right? It's super, super valuable for five bucks. It's, in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, there's nothing like that. Um, and so I will be doing that. Uh, she's actually a really, really good character. Um, and so I will play it on doing that. The other things you wanna know is that there's, there's energy to be gathered, your daily things. Right, the, you have a lot of these missions. Do these as best you can, as quickly as you can, uh, because they're really, really. Sorry, and look, there's Mickmull right there. Excellent. Uh, that's his bot account, I believe. Mickmull two um, is the bot account. But so that's that's kind of the, the the opening guide here. Once you get to twenty, they automatically put you into a guild, and then you can start the guild raid. But once you're there, you have to get energy and so you just spend energy and that sort of stuff and right as you can see right here i'm at 800 energy daily that's the maximum amount right there are other there are other people right that you everybody gains energy these energies get turned converted over into tokens which allow you then to your guild leader or whoever to summon the raid uh, boss, right? And then we're currently doing the raid right now, um, as I pointed out earlier uh, on the stream, but I'll point it out here. Right now, I'm currently the, the leader of, of the raid, the top damage dealer of the raid. Um, and so that's kind of the way that goes. So we'll hit the home button here. We also have challenges. So you have events. These events come up. I've actually really kind of found these events to be super fun. This one right here, this battle time event, right? It was all based off of using energy and you gain credits and you gain credits and you gain uh, character shards for a character. This one right here is actually what's kind of cost me a bunch of my gold right now. Um, I was trying to, this was getting energy. You were trading essentially XP tomes by leveling up your characters for energy and it was allowing me to level up fast. And so this has been actually really, really cool, but I did all of these yesterday. And when you're leveling characters, leveling characters up is not cheap. It's not cheap to do. Um, it's it's not unreasonable by any stretch of the imagination, but like, see this guy from, to level him up one level from 37 to 38 cost 29,536 dragon coin, right? I only have 308. Yesterday I had two million dragon coin. Um, and so before I started doing this, but I unlocked some characters and I leveled them up as well yesterday. Um, and so, and that's that's why that is the case. So I am kind of low on that at the moment, but it's nothing that we can't you know that we can't overcome. Um, the last everything. So we have arena. Arena unlocks at level twenty. Um, this is very similar to 
uh, just your regular old, you know, arena in other games, right? You have arena, right? I am currently ranked 269. My guilt, my power, my strength right here is right here. It's, you know, 31,944. I am currently using um, the team I'm using, I believe, was my orc team. And that's the other thing. Right now, I'm everybody's pushing for the orcs. This has also been covered in, in depth by a Mi'kmaq video or other videos. Orcs are being used. The reason for that is that there is a legendary event. The very first legendary event is coming up here, right, right here in ten days. At ten days and five hours, the legendary events coming up, and you need orcs to participate, right? Right, orcs only, right? Orcs only. Right, right. And so you can see three stars recommended hero abilities, right? Ruin 16, gear level 5, and that sort of thing, right? The hero level 50. And he unlocks here, I believe, that hero level 50. Um, right. And then the, here's the others, right? 60, which I don't believe I would get to, right? But. And he's a five-star unlock. So that's kind of the idea, is that everybody's pushing for orcs right now. They're actually quite good. Um, they do they do lack some XP, uh, some, uh, some DPS, I think, um, a little bit um, when you're fighting other people. But let's, let's go into a battle real quick. So I don't want this video to be too long, but the, I, I, you know, I, let's cover up. Let's not do a battle. Let's go ahead and... I don't want the video to be terribly long because I want it to be, you know, kind of a quick synopsis of what is going on um, with this game. So the last play, last thing to do, last thing to go over is Tower right now. Tower, if you play Galaxy of Heroes or other games like this, it's very similar to Guild, uh, uh, Guild Wars or uh, Ground War or that sort of thing. Uh, but in this game, it's the tower. You got to go work your way all the way up to the top and you fight the last guy and you get battle. I'm stuck here. As you can see, uh, yesterday when I was playing, I got stuck um, on the final one, so I wasn't able to beat it. If you go into my battle here, uh, and I will be doing this on stream here in a little bit, but I'm, I'm kind of running out of dudes. Um, and so, and some of my other guys were killed and that sort of stuff. And I'm going to level her up in a second. Um, and so that's kind of where we're at. So I'm going to end up just go ahead and resetting it. Um, cause I'm not going to beat it this time, but maybe I probably will beat it this coming up. So we're looking for worthy opponents. And so that's kind of where we're at. Uh, so this, they give you tower currency, tower currencies right here in the store, back in the shop. Right, you get a bunch of different currencies here. I'm gonna go ahead and buy these. I probably shouldn't, but I did anyway because I'm running low on funds. Right, this your guild currency where you get every day you get guild currency. There's some good things in here. Um, array arena currency. Right, uh, there's things here. Is the tower currency? Is there anybody I'm farming right now in tower? I am farming Mortha. Um, that's my orc healer. And so I'll go ahead and pick up her real fast. Here's the premium chest, and then remember earlier I told you if you're gonna spend money in this game, the hundred dollar really is way to go the first time around, and then you want to open these premium chests, uh, this one here, because it gives you the 50 stones, the guaranteed 50 plus hero stones, and that's how I got all of my, a lot of my characters. And in fact, not only did I get a lot of my characters, I was lucky enough um, to get characters almost seven stars. So I have. My main orc gal here, she's almost seven stars. Uh, Trump guards really close. He's six shards away from seven. You get him as you as you level up. You also as you're leveling up and completing quests. Him, he's almost seven stars. It's just Mortha who's kind of languishing behind a little bit. Uh, but you know, there's plenty of opportunities to battle and gain them. In fact, I'm just gonna run these real quick. And I'm at. It looks like I'm out of energy for now. So. But I, I'm super, I'm super impressed by this game. I think it's really well done. Uh, I really do enjoy it. I am gonna, like I said, I'm gonna post this video on YouTube right now. If you are new around here, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.